do the people pay for this building and fund it? And is this a public accessible area? The door is wide open. There's a help desk. There's public information for anybody, normal citizen walking down the street. Any Joe Schmo can come in and get public information from here. And we're getting pushed out because we have cameras. This is the Division of Licensure and Survey. Person Care Safety and Inspection Community Program. Mm -hmm. Division of Home Health. PA Department of Health. Do not leave the door unlocked. It must ring bell, I guess. Really? Please press the intercom to enter. Huh. Hmm. We can do that. Are we here to get uh, some license? Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, we're here to um, get public records. We're here to gather public records. Come on in. Thank you. It's nice in here. It's cold. It's cool. Hey, how are you? Um, good. Um, we just wanted to get um, we just wanted to see some public records of uh, certifications that you guys hold in this department. It is hot. Um, well, I guess you guys do certifications and licensing here. Yeah. That's okay. What right. Right. Okay, and I guess it's, it's public. Department of Health. Yeah. Right. So it's public, open to the public, the people that apply for these licenses and okay. registrations. No, it's not open to public. It isn't. No. It isn't. This isn't public accessible. No. This is a department here. It is Department of Health, but if you want to apply for anything, you are you filming or what are you doing? Yes. You have MSDS sheet, sir. May I ask for why? documentation purposes? Okay, so if you don't have any appointment, I I don't I don't know what else I can. Oh, we need an appointment. Okay, so yeah. okay. what? what so we can make one. Huh? So so if I were to walk in here to get information as like a, a normal member of the public, what kind of services do you provide here for the public? We have different divisions here. We have safety inspection, nursing, home health, and every division has their own surveyors. Okay. Yeah. And I could come and I could come in to try to see if I could get usually, services. Usually, you, we don't accept walkings. Like if there is nothing walking, it's not oh, there's no walking. Office that you can just walk in. All right, but it, yeah. but but this is taxpayer-funded building, all right? Yes. Okay. All right, so we gotta make an appointment if we need something. All right. All right. Cool. That's fine. You have a lovely day. All right. Take it easy. Sure. 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 It's fine while the door's locked. Open, open. It is open, but it's not open. It's one of those quasi. I just ha nah. Mm. Yeah. It doesn't have restricted, but they let you in. There's a thing there for the public to ring the bell. So I, that door goes into the I had to prove my point that you know. That door goes to there. You want to do there? You want to do there first, though. For safety reasons, no one allowed in the waiting area except those waiting to see an agent. This includes children. For safety reasons. Good afternoon. Oh. So how do you get on probation and parole? Are you recording? Yes. No, you can't record me. Oh, I sure can. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Um, so, this gentleman had a question. Yeah. Someone there? We got here, a little office. Oh, this is just what I was looking for. What's that? No, oh, they got pamphlets there. Yeah, I need, I, need, I need one of these right here. Yeah, grab me one. I'll grab you one. That's what I came here for. Oh, okay. So, what is probation and parole? What is that? Hmm. See the mission statement up there? Very interesting. To promote public safety, utilizing services, living practices that include cool evidence based approaches. Hmm. Let me grab some pamphlets, I guess. Hey, buddy. Are you guys? Mm -hmm. you doing? Just grab some pamphlets here. Oh, we're just looking around at the public information that you guys have here. For, for what reason? 
educational purposes. Who are you, sir? Who are you guys? I'm myself. All right, I need you to step out. Yeah, please. You're going to have to leave our building. Oh, really? Okay. Well, we're, we haven't gotten all of our public information yet. So how do you guys get on probation and parole? How, how does that work? Are you recording us? Absolutely. It's a public lobby. Here. Yeah. Okay. Paid for by public tax money. Absolutely. Okay, well then I would need you, I'm asking you to step out, sir. Well, we, we can. You know, no, it's, it's not, not it's not can. It's, 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 it's an issue of whether you're trespassing on this point. You, you express me like you to leave. Well, is, this public, is, is this a public is this a public lobby, sir? Is this public against so is, is, is this public accessible? Once, as a, once you've been asked to leave, sir, it is trespassing. You can check the law. I need you to leave. How do you spell X? You say A X E. I need you to step out of the office, no sir. Problem. You said X? I need you to step out of the office, please, sir. Alrighty. Have a good day. You do the same. Hold on, I just got to get this pamphlet right here. Right. So how do you get out from Which one do I need here? You have to like can you call uh, the uh, police? Call police, police for Thank you. They were just here. Okay, well, they'll come Smack. back. I'm yeah, sure. They were just here. We were just talking to them. That's fine. And again, they know that we're allowed to go in public lobbies. So if you want to bully and tyrant people that pay your salary, that's fine. We'll just catch it on film and then we'll show the world how you guys treat people. It's a problem. A news agency might pick this up, you know. Um, people have the right to document their experiences when they come in this office. Um, you, you guys are pushing us out. Yeah, I didn't realize uh, we weren't allowed in there. You're, this is a taxpayer-funded building, am I correct? Do the people pay for this building and fund it? And is this a public accessible area? The door is wide open. There's a help desk. There's public information for anybody, normal citizen walking down the street. Any Joe Schmo can come in and get public information from here. And we're getting pushed out because we have cameras? That would be a violation of our rights. Absolutely. There's we're titles and there's right. sections. Do you guys have a name, by chance? You want to yeah, get Board of Probation and Parole. You guys want to give me a name since you want to push people around? So I can tell my lawyer who to sue? Have a good day, sir. Well, why do we always have trouble with you kind of guys? We go, all, we right, go yeah, all over the place. and back in your little hiding hole. I still have to get my pamphlet from in there, so. Alright, have a great day, sir. Only pussies don't get Look, he's, stand, he's standing near the door, so he can't come in. Oh, Look at him. Look, they're, they're babysitting the door. So we have a couple cowards. What's up guys? I'm out at the borough of Ambler Building with uh, Southeastern PA Community Watch. Hey, hey. Ha, ha, ha. And we're gonna, um, we're gonna right. snoop around and see what we pay for here. We're do a, as Southeastern PA always says, we're gonna do a little inventory of our vehicles. And the maintenance of our building. Oh, we got a little alleyway. There's no signage. A little alleyway, huh? A little bench seat, a little smoking table. Some nice cool breeze back there, huh? Yeah. Here. Uh, the side was closed. Yeah, it's closed. Back here. Hmm. Sure what's going on here. Unmarked Ford Escape here. All right. See, these guys are American Legion member. Whoever drives this vehicle. Um, I like the American Legion. I think they do a lot of good things for the community. So I definitely support <coughs> anybody who's uh involved with the American Legion. It's usually veterans and police officers get together and a lot of good things for the community and kids and shit. Oh, check this out guys, look. You get the option, right? You can either be a cop caller or you can defend yourself at the karate place. I haven't seen one police officer in a car on foot around this whole campus. Boom, boom, boom. Knock at the door. 
citizen. <laughs> Everybody hide. It's a citizen at the door. We don't want to deal with them. I think I'm going to change the whole name of uh, First Amendment Audits to First Amendment Raids. You know? The times are changing. We'll do no knock raids. Yeah, it's pretty much what it is. If we don't we don't call for permission first, we just go yep. in and pop right in. It's called it's a raid. Yep. <laughs> Here we are. Yeah yeah. Bend over. First Amendment raid. Up against the wall. Yeah. yeah. And we had a warning here that there's there might be slow people. <laughs> This, uh, that is true. There might be slow people here. So we have been forewarned. Okay. Right. And the officer's coming back. Okay, great. Yeah. Awesome. I already called. They're on their way. Great. Uh, it's it's a shame they don't have uh, somebody readily available for you. I know. Is this yeah. the third one today that didn't have people here? Um, yeah, to pay parking meter violation. Oh. That's extortion. Don't do it. Oh. Fight the good fight. Take it all the way to 12 jurors. I'm sure it has to be cash, right? Probably uh, yeah, uh, they'll probably take a debit. Okay. They probably would definitely. Get sure. I don't know if they'll take a debit today. I have enough to pay one. You got multiple? Good I, for you. I have two. <laughs> I left it over the weekend and got it like on a Tuesday. So it's definitely my home. And you live in town too? Sweet. No, I'm from Contra uh, We were just there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. We seem to pay here pretty well too. Okay. But they like here don't have anybody available. You have to call. Yeah. Why do I have to call? There should be yeah. someone here, I think. Uh, First of all, you did not take this, and it should be all like absolutely perfect. Exactly, to collect all the ill gotten revenue. Yeah. Are mm -hmm. you a photographer? We are. Oh, nice. We go That's to, right yeah, we go to uh, public buildings and see how they handle cameras. Ah. It's amazing. Okay. We've been arrested. We've been tased. We've been beaten. No. We've been bloody. Yeah. No one understands um, that you have no expectation of privacy if you work for the public or if you're in the public. Oh my gosh. Cockroaches hate the light. They don't know about the freedom of press. You say First Amendment, you only think of freedom of speech. You so we turn the cameras that. on those who are watching us. Right. So you have videos of them like doing it to you? Oh, gotcha. Oh my gosh. Hundreds of videos. I mean, video activists. Really, there's a bunch of us around the country, so oh. on YouTube. So you've been really hurt. Oh man, they do it all the time. Everybody bloody last week. <laughs> it still, oh, still has a contusion. Yeah. Again, you shine the light of accountability on public officials who you pay through your stolen taxes. They don't like to be accountable. Oh. They like to just sit here and do what they want. Make up their own rules, kill, rape, murder, steal, yeah. with no accountability. And there's so many of me out there that are so naive and have no idea. And there's 95% of the world yeah. like you have no idea. And it's not your That's fault. That's scary. They, they've used propaganda over the decades and uh -huh. years to brainwash the citizens to think that they're the good guys. And, and not that police are not good guys. We're not here, we're not anti-police. We're anti-corruption, anti-bully, anti-tyrant. I want an officer to treat you the same as me, the same as your mother, the same as a black person, the same as anybody, with respect and dignity. Everyone deserves and that. Yeah, exactly. So when they show their true colors and start off, <laughs> and they work for mm -hmm. us, you know, we, we pay them. It comes out of our taxes. It'll tell you in your taxes, like you pay 28% of your taxes is going to the police force. And this many is going here, and this many is going here, and so a lot of people like you will cow down, and rightly so. It's scary. They will kill you. Huh. They'll maim you. They will put you in a hospital or jail for no reason for years. And what the problem is is like, all right, now it's, there's no difference between a worker that works retail at like um, like McDonald's or something, right? Mm -hmm. Now if they if they threaten to hurt you or kidnap you with cuffs and all that stuff, right, or whatever. They'd get fired, you know, because they, you know, they they're working. These guys are on. A, We're the customer. We are we are all the customer, but we are also their boss, you know. Yeah. And there's no accountability. We file hundreds of complaint forms for illegal activity by police, and I always get the same answer. We've investigated ourselves and found we've done nothing wrong. Uh, I wish I could investigate myself. No yeah. wrongdoing. You know, I would find there's no That's wrongdoing like, here. You're biased. Obviously. Yeah. It would be like uh, going to. Um, 
like going to you and giving you a complaint form about your boyfriend or your husband or something. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. she's gonna throw it so away. You know, hold people mm-hmm. accountable, and it's it costs us. Yeah, I'm sure. Blood, yeah. sweat. Look at the marks on you, your elbow. And we're here just like this, very polite, uh-huh. very genial, very lawfully in our rights to film in a public lobby. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you want to let it happen yet, you know, because it's just this way I am. Uh-huh. But here comes the person now. Hello. Hi. I'm here to um, pay two parking tickets. Okay. Yeah. As far as parking tickets go, I'm not allowed to take them. Oh, it has yes. to be either our secretary or the borough worker, but there is a drop box in the rear parking lot okay. that you can put in the envelope. How much, and drop are, in the How much are the tickets? Yeah. This one's 12. Okay, so not bad. This one's also 12. Okay, perfect. That's not bad. Thank you. Right. And where's the drop box? It's in the rear parking lot right on top of it. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Yep. Did you have to throw hey. anything? Just okay. put the money in it? Yep. Okay. Yep. No, I'll put the money in and seal it. Okay. Thank you. Just here. You have a police complaint form? Okay. For 144. For complaint against an officer? Okay. Thanks. I think we could get like a stack of those out here so people could just publicly grab one. Yeah, we hate to call you guys in. Yeah, it takes so long to get one. And I don't know that we have a actual form for it, but I give you a statement form that you can turn in as one. That will go to the chief. Well, if that's what you use for a complaint form, then that's what we'll take. Yeah, that may be very nice and very unknowledgeable. Mm-hmm. And, and that's what they want. You know, they want people not to know their rights or to know mm-hmm. how to do things right or, you know, what laws they have to protect themselves. At least the extortion fees were only 12 bucks. How great is that? Parking's 50 cents an hour? Extortion's 12 bucks a park? Oh, my That's God. great. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's I mean, almost gift wrapped, you know? It is. I'll happily pay 12 bucks just and, and not have to park legally. You know what I mean? If I, if I need this spot or something, and right. I knew it was going to cost me 12 bucks for the night, and I, I know I'm, I'm good here, <laughs> That's like, I'm good. Here's your 12 bucks. 12 bucks for the lot fee. I mean, yeah. Hell yeah, shoot. Now leave me alone. Here's my ticket. All right, I'm going back right. to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so it's almost worth, you know, if you can't find a spot to absolutely uh, just park me your ticket. Pennsylvania crime victims, huh? Give you kids a boost for life. Oh, they want everybody in a boozer seat. Look how big these kids are, too. Yeah, I saw that. Come yeah. on now. They're like fucking 15 years old. All right. <laughs> now, I thought the rule was like 90 pounds or 9 years old. Yeah, there is a way. Look, oh, look how big that girl is. Right. Holy shoot, man. She could play basketball in the WNBA and to have her in a booster seat. <laughs> uh, Bubble wrap. Look, it looks, oh my God. Bubble wrap, yeah. I mean, these kids, poor kids. You know, it's a nanny state, man. <laughs> but in Pennsylvania, you don't have to wear a helmet for motorcycles. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's real. Is that. Yeah. You have to button up a bubble up to be in a car. But I don't have to wear a helmet on a motorcycle. <laughs> wow, that's you figure it'd just be the opposite, you know? Don't let your kids ride in the back of a pickup truck. <laughs> don't hold a child on your lap, even if you're buckled up. Even if you're buckled up? Buckled. Oh, buckled up. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Right, hey, everybody. Right. Would you like a pen now to do it here, or do you no. want to come back and return I'll it? I'll return. All right. All right. Anything else I can help you with? No, I think we are good. Now, is it normally not staffed during the days or after certain hours? After certain hours, yes. Well, that's right. Force or yes. something like that. Before so. All right. I'm just going to take one. I'll leave the rest out here for the public to grab. I well, that's that. that's yeah. several pages in case. Yeah, uh, I can make copies though. I mean, it's, it's all good. I just made those copies. All right. Well, if you did, then I'll keep them. That's okay. fine. All right. I appreciate it. No all right. Thanks. Where do you guys park your cars at? In that little lot? Yep. Wow. How many officers do you have? We only have 13. That's it. Or That's three it. shifts. Yep. No, uh, two shifts for 12 hours. 12 hours. Yeah. All right, we'll be safe. Thank All you. Right. Thank you.
All right, so this dude just opened the gate and then drove away. I mean, what is that? Is he trying to make us curious and go past the point? I know. What do you do that for? <laughs> Yeah, man. Come on, dude. This is a residential street, bro. Yep. Your town's being visited. Yep. Now they're all coming out of the woodwork. That's the third cop we've yeah. seen uh, since we showed our faces. I didn't see one car before that now. Now all of a sudden they're driving by, parked in an empty lot. Uh-huh. Showing up. Looking around for where we parked. 